Hey, how you doing guys? Oz here. Just want to wish you all Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been working a lot, but you know, the holidays have got me some free time, so I want to just go ahead and pump a nice little quick video out for you guys, let you know I haven't forgot about you. This is a gameplay on a map Warhawk, Call of Duty Ghost, and I haven't uploaded any footage, no chem strike, you know, streaks, no uh you know, no gameplays. I have been live streaming, so again, if you guys don't follow my live streams, I live stream more than I upload. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. Uh, this is not a job for me. This is a hobby, and I get the most enjoyment when I live stream because, you know, I'm able to interact just a little bit more with you guys, and, um, you know, when I have something to say, I'll actually make a video so that it means something. So, anyways, I want to talk a little bit about this map, Warhawk. I know some of you guys have just got Call of Duty Ghosts for Christmas. And some of you guys are, are trying to beat up on Christmas noobs, and I think this is going to be maybe a good tip for you guys. What you're going to see me do in this gameplay is I'm working the C flag over here, or you know, if this was TDM or Kill Confirmed or Cranked, um, if your team's on the other side of the map, you want to work your way over towards this area of the building. Both sides of the map, you always need control over the top upstairs rooms. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to specifically be up there, okay? Um, the way that I like to do it is exactly what I'm doing here. First thing, my first objective is to, to get up into the room. And I want to make sure nobody's up inside that window, you know, picking off my teammates with a sniper or, or whatnot. And then I immediately leave. Now, my, my objective is to push to one side of the map and catch them as they spawn. Now, you can catch them as they spawn by doing a very simple tactic. It's what I call the peekaboo where you're basically hidden behind cover, not looking at the spawn point, and sometimes as you're approaching that area, you'll hear them spawn in with Amplified. I've been doing that since Modern Warfare 3. That's an old school, you know, support gameplay trick, you know, is, is not looking into the spawn. You take a route which allows you to cut off that spot. So what I, what I like to do, again, is I push to one side of the spawn. Now just think of the spawns as, okay, you have the middle spawn behind the flag, you have the left side spawn and you have the right side spawn. There's actual spots where they do spawn at, you know, not just a general area, but um, you don't need to know those specifically. So I'll push to one side, I'll clear it out. Now what I do is instead of pushing into the back spawn, I'll cut, I'll do like a U-shaped pattern and I'll cut through toward, I'll cut through towards the middle, which in this case would be, you know, right in front of the building that I'm up in right now, or if I can, I, I get up in here. And I check this back spawn. I see if anybody's coming towards C because they spawn on the other side of this car over here. And they catch them as I, I kill them. And you notice I immediately move. Why do I immediately move when I kill somebody? Well, keep in mind, not only are they watching kill cams and they're going to come back for that revenge kill. But it's to influence the spawns. I'm controlling the spawns in my own way. And um, I have my own way of doing this on every single map. You see me when I live stream a lot, you'll notice, you know, I, I run very, very specific routes. And the reason for that is so I can predict what the enemy is going to do before they even do it. I can predict where they're going to be exactly when I kill them. When I kill him, I know, based off my team's position right now, they're going to be spawning towards my right. So what do I do? I dip off to the left to maintain the right side spawn and I get a better angle where they're less likely to look for me because obviously I killed that dude. He's going to try to, you know, run up in the building possibly if he has any type of brain. If I was me getting killed, I'd want to get him the hell out of my, out of our, you know, team spawn. So that's what I do. I go to one side, I kill, I run a U-shaped pattern, I backtrack, okay, towards the middle and I try to get to the left or right side depending on, uh, you know, where I killed them at. So hope you guys enjoyed that quick tip. I hope it made sense. <laughs> I'm not the best at explaining this stuff. So um, if it didn't make any sense, just leave a comment. I'll have more videos like this. And um, hopefully you can learn from this. I'm out. Peace. Merry Christmas.